There are some great alternate outfits in this game, and then there's this one. What the f- Okay, so there are 25 outfits in the game total, including the default. So in reality, there are 19 collectible outfits. Evan has four alternate outfits, leaving the rest of the team with three each. The way you get outfits follows a formula of sorts. Each character gets one outfit from an overworld chest, one from a quest or tainted monster, and one from a post-game side quest. Let's start with the overworld costumes. You're going to need an airship to get most of these. You can find Evan's Mamuni garb here in the northern part of the desert area. You can find Tani's Harpus costume here outside of Auntie Martha's cottage. You can find Batu's Shipwright's shirt here north of Evermore above the tight fit cavern entrance. You can find Leander's regal attire here amongst all the coral-like platforms outside Hydropolis. And you can find Bracken's gold paw gown, the best costume in this game hands down, here west of gold paw. I am aware that I have missed Roland there, and it's because I got it at some point and wasn't recording, and I just don't remember where. Though I am told that its location is in a chest near the Crooked Cavern entrance. But what I do remember is where I got Roland's swordsman's robes from, and that was a quest in Goldpaw given to you by two NPCs, a mum and her child, and they should be around here. Evan's rather wonderful wizard costume, which is Oliver's outfit from the first game, is a reward for killing the level 62 tainted monster Spore Spew inside the shabby shrine south of Goldpaw. And you'll also be able to get Evan's vestments of victory from a quest in your kingdom during and after chapter 9. Tani's Greenling garb is from a quest inside your kingdom that will only become available during and after chapter 9. Batu's Wild Attire is a reward for killing the level 56 tainted monster Toxina, which is just south of Goldpaw. Bracken's Wearable Tech is another quest from your kingdom during and after chapter 9. And Paul Leander's last two outfits are both post-game. You'll be able to get the Hydropolitan King's Robes from a quest in Hydropolis once you've completed the game, and his Junior Consul's Clothes from his quest in Evermore post-game. And that is where all other outfits come from. Each character, apart from Evan, will have a quest inside Evermore once you've finished the game that will reward an outfit. You'll know you have the right quest because the outfit will be marked as the reward. There is only one that hasn't been mentioned, and that is Evan's Robes of Unity, which are automatically gifted to you once you finish the main story. And that just about covers it. I imagine they'll add more costumes in the future, I do love the variety they bring to the game, and some of the costumes are easily better than the default ones. A lot of them you simply aren't going to be able to get until post-game, since some of those tainted monsters are quite high level and put up a good fight, so don't stress yourself, they won't disappear. Apologies for not being able to get everything in recorded footage, but with the exception of Roland's overworld costume, which I missed, all the others should be really straightforward. Check your kingdom for blue exclamation marks, talk to the civilians, and check the rewards. You'll find them easy. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and sharing, and I'll see you all soon.